Welcome back to Drifting Drams. I'm Katie. And I'm Ethan. Today, we have a bottle from uh, Wheel Horse. It is Green River Juice. Uh, we were lucky enough to find this one. Our local had it recently, and it is a toasted barrel finish. I, Ethan was telling me earlier that it's only 1,500 bottles in the release, and it's 101 proof. We're excited to get into it. All right, so getting into this one, y'all. Um, so like Katie said, it is Green River Juice. So uh, Blue Note Juke Joint, um, Wheel Horse Single Barrels, of course, Green River Bourbon, that um, that awesome 90 Shelfer that is such a good value. Uh, Kentucky Tins, a weeder they put out as well. Short and Barrel has some products. Exactly, yep, Short Barrel has some too. Um, putting out really, really good high value stuff. So this one, is aged at least three years it's 70 corn 21 rye and nine barley so that's their standard mash bill and it is finished in toasted barrels so 101 proof toasted srp on this was 43 dollars or 42 dollars according to their site but our local had this for 37 dollars yeah it was impressive to see it at that price yep so we are stoked to try it uh it definitely has um, some it has some um, some expectations to live up to, but at the same time, it's only thirty seven bucks. So let's see. Yeah, let's get into it. Man. yeah, Ethan's gonna do a fresh crack on this guy. We picked it up today. Um, so yeah, he is uh, definitely getting after it quickly. I know he wanted to crack it as soon as we left the store. I did, but I didn't. So. So. That y'all could enjoy it right now. You're <laughs> welcome. Don't ever say I didn't get you anything. America. Ooh, that smells good. Um, yeah, pour it up. Pour it up. All right, let's do it. Do it. Do it. So, again, 101 proof, toasted finish, $37 Green River bottle love what they're doing in Owensboro. Love it. Um, hope that it's just as good whenever Bards, now that Bardstown is at the, at the range. So um, don't screw it up, Bardstown, please. So yeah, on the first, uh, first nosing of it, I'm getting orange oil, a little bit of marshmallow. Yeah, for me, that, uh, that wet cardboard, like that new bottle smell that I get immediately off the nose, um, I don't know if that's synthetic cork. I, I, actually, that's, I'm thinking that what that might be. Um, but that is that is gone really quickly, actually. A lot of times it'll stay for longer. But, man, it's just um, it's good stuff. It's, man, i, I got to get into this now. It's um, calling my name. That toast is coming out now. The toast that is not, it's not smacking me in the face. No, definitely not. I wouldn't even maybe call this one a toasted, honestly. Off the first sip? No, it's there. It's the back end. It's a roasty oak note. Okay. That I don't think this the, a three-year bourbon would have. And the sugar that is coming through, like, this is a sweet bourbon. Yeah, it is. Very, very sweet. Yeah, she's, uh... She's very nice. I'm getting more vanilla. I guess that's going to be your toasted barrel. At, you know, at first I thought I was going to get more of that orange oil that was coming off the nose, but not really. Um, it's it's more sweet vanilla, vanilla bean, a little bit of oak on the finish. I'm very impressed for the price. Yeah, I think this is priced appropriately. If if somebody puts this on, uh, on the table in front of me at 60 bucks. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, uh, but at, at 40 bucks, that's solid. Um, that's that's a really good bottle. It's really easy to sip. It's got that nice rye content that's kind of coating my mouth. It keeps making me want to go back for more. It is lingering a little bit, but not so long that it's um, that it's causing me to to not go back. Right? It, it's the opposite effect. I want it to keep going, and so I keep going back and to extend that finish. Um, 
There's the rice spice. Yeah. There's the rice spice. It built for me after about after about the third sip. It just like started. started it keeps in. layering. Yeah. Yep. Keeps layering. Keeps building. Man. Yeah, I, I'm with you though. I don't get a huge amount of the toasted on this. I get some extra vanilla and I get um, a little bit more wood on the back end than again a three year would have. But it's just staying around. Yeah, I'm a fan of it. Uh, well, we'll see. Like like she said, 1,500 bottles, so we'll keep it around as long as we can. Um, but in the spirit of um, competition, we have a couple of more bottles here that we're going to use to kind of put it through its paces. So Blue Note Crossroads, um, another Green River bottle finished in toasted French oak. So a little bit different finish, but 100 proof toasted. And then a Heritage Distillery, uh, Elijah Craig, Heaven Hill, uh, toasted barrel. It comes in at 94 proof, so it's a little bit lower than the Wheel Horse. Uh, but in going through this, it was it was hard to find a lower proof toasted uh, that yeah. we had, which cool. was interesting. And that one, um, that one's almost twice. Well, it's one and a half times the price. That that uh, toasted bottle is at least 60 bucks, and a lot of times it's more like 80 or 100. Yeah. So it should spank the pants off this Wheel Horse toasted. We'll see. Yeah, I think the last time we picked up this bottle it was 59.99 so we were lucky enough to find it for a decent price but we had seen it weeks before for 99 109 not worth it at that price so but let's get into the uh let's get into that blue note crossroads first that french oak is coming through yep yeah it's spicy it's complex um it, it this is this is a really good way to do a side by side and really get to know what French oak is about. It's um, man, it's just it's floral oak, which sounds weird, I know, but it's it's oak, but it's more floral, right? It's more complex, um, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm a fan of this bottle. Again, this one comes in right at forty dollars. Uh, and it's on the shelf all over the place here in Tennessee, so I'm I'm I keep we keep it around. Let's I'm gonna try this one. It's m much more floral than the whale horse. The whale horse was sweet. This one is floral, a little more tannic. Yes. Um, on the finish, the rice by still lingers. Oh, okay, so actually, so all right. Um, mine was still finishing. I thought it was done. I get more oak up front that I thought was that's what Katie was calling tannin, but it's not. It's just oak, which surprises me because this is this is supposedly a four year bottle. Um, they've got some older stuff in there. There's no way around that. Um, that or some short barrels or something. They've got more oak than four years in the, the crossroads. But then, yeah, it goes um, middle of the palate. It goes vanillas and baking spice and then at the end that's where the french oak comes through for yeah me. it's that nice sweet a little bit floral mm -hmm. yeah. a lot floral a lot floral um more so on the nose than the palate for me i agree but it's there on the palate First impressions, I think I prefer the wheel horse. It's just it's a little bit easier to sip, a little easier to wrap your brain around. Uh, maybe not as complex since it's not French oak. Uh, so it's a good entry, like toasted product for them. Completely agree. I think um, the Blue Note is it's got a little bit more going on, but not all of it's good. Whereas the wheel horse is a little bit simpler, but everything there is in a really good way. Um, I think so between the two, I've got to give it to the wheel horse as well. I'd pick, I'd pick the crossroads back up obviously. And some days I might prefer it, but generally speaking, that wheel horse is just so easy to drink and so flavorful. Yeah. I feel like the blue note, uh, crossroads would be good around like a fire in the middle of winter or, you know, early spring when it's still pretty chilly outside. Cause yeah. it definitely warms you up. It has more of that earthy floral vibe to it yep. so yeah easy you see toasted. toasted much more oak on the nose yeah i think that's honestly all i'm getting is oak right now oh see i get a, I get a huge punch of vanilla there's the vanilla vanilla 
Demerara sugar, that dark, dark brown sugar. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's burn sugar. This is a this is straight up torch sugar. Creme brulee style. Exactly. But it's like when the chef's had a few, had a couple of tipples and he's a little <laughs> bit a little bit rusty and the the torch stays in one spot a little too long. That's what this is. The vanilla builds on that one. And the baking spice. Mm -hmm. And they swap. Yeah, I get a fair amount of oak on the first, on the front of the palette. And then it goes into sweet vanilla. Then it baking spice. Then back to vanilla. Then finishes strong with baking spice influence. Yeah, I'm... The EC Toasted by is definitely more complex for me. There's a lot more flavors going on. It is lingering a little bit, but that 94 proof shows itself. There's not much of a finish. It's it's there, and I get all the flavors, and it's gone. It's cut and dry. Um, I could go drink another bourbon, wouldn't have to rinse my mouth water or anything. It, it's just it's gone now. Yeah, I, I agree um, with that. It has more going on on the front of the palette. Mm -hmm. I, get, I feel like you're going to get smacked with proof on the first, like on the net, on the on the very front of the palette and then you don't it's soft and kind of delicate uh to finish yeah yeah she's a dainty girl um so opinion overall preference um overall preference in general and then price in mind I think overall preference, I'm going to give it to the wheel horse on this. Um, the proof point on it is just really, really nice. At 101, uh, it's it stands up. Like I feel like with the EC Toasted, I do enjoy it. But you were right. The finish is short and falls off pretty, pretty quickly. And so for that reason, I will give it to the wheel horse uh, today. Cost in mind, I would still give it to the wheel horse. There's more going on. on the wheel ho horse is sweeter by far. It's got that citrus punch. What, what are you feeling on price on these two? Well, overall... Overall, it's a toss-up. For me, I, I can't choose between the Easy Toast and the wheel horse. Um, it's just... They're both very unique. Easy Toasted, I want more of a finish. The Wheel Horse is sweet. It's got a really nice finish. And it's a super easy drinker uh, at 101. Like, it's 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 a whiskey you could sit with. It's a whiskey that you could just pound if you're having a bad day or something. Or you're looking for, uh, or you're watching TV or football and you need something to drink, right? Works for that, too. Uh, it's very versatile. But with price in mind, it's got to be the Wheel Horse. Um, it's $37, even at $40, it's price equivalent to the Crossroads, it's half the price of the Elijah Craig, and honestly for us, it's probably about as available as the Elijah Craig, like Katie was saying, we don't see that either. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give it to the wheel horse in this one. Yeah, for overall, absolutely. Um, again, still on, still a toss up for me with, uh, cost with with um without taking cost into account but cool bottle very happy we were able to grab that one yeah if you've seen the bottle let us know in the comments below uh if you're looking for the bottle let us know in the comments below uh who knows we might see you on our travels and happy to share a pour with you guys yep um everybody if you're if you're new here uh, of course we are the turks Please like and subscribe if you like the video. If you don't like it, do that too. Um, but you should still subscribe because if you don't like it, then maybe next week will be more of a shit show and that'll be fun for you. Um, so yeah, come back and see us, y'all. Cheers, everyone. Cheers.